you know, the new Ignition Edge enables multiple architectures for you to use for different possible situations. And the first architecture we're going to look at is Ignition Edge with Central Ignition SCADA. And so this architecture can have multiple facilities or locations with the Central Ignition Gateway connected to everything and Ignition Edge on premise at each site to collect data and publish it centrally. So what that really looks like here is you can see PLCs and I've got one site that's got a group of PLCs and I've got another site that has another set of PLCs and I've got Ignition Edge there locally talking to each of these and you can picture this as Ignition Edge IIoT. So it's got that data connectivity to talk to the different PLCs and publish that data up to a centralized server. And do I have visualization at the sites? I can if I'm connected up to the central server, but if I lose that connection to the central server, I'm also going to lose my local clients. But because I've got Ignition Edge IoT, I'm not losing data. I'm still collecting data. And when the connection is restored to the central server, all that data will forward up to the server and backfill our SQL database. You know, this really helps solve one of the hurdles that you see in like regulated industries where like oil and gas or water, wastewater, where collecting data on site and storing data is not just a nice to have. Um, it may be dictated by different regulations and laws. And so uh, a lot of those have regulations about having up to a one month data buffer. That was a, a big motivation for us to increase from the seven day buffer. But yeah, so we really see this as, as being an enabler for those kind of architectures. And uh, it's worth noting that Ignition Edge Panel uh, could also be used in this case, uh, but with one difference, right? So if I come to the next slide here, um, now instead of my local clients only working if they have a connection to the central server, if I have Edge Panel, I still have the local data collection, can still do store and forward buffer to backfill my SQL database. But now if I lose my connection, I also still have a local client that I can use to control my PLCs. And so that's really the main difference um, is whether or not you need that local HMI independent of a central server. Now, does that mean that Edge Panel is only useful if I have a central server? No, it can still act as just a local HMI that doesn't actually forward the data anywhere, but it'll always have those capabilities. Um, so that if you added a central server in the future or an MQTT server, you'd be able to uh, publish that data up, uh, but certainly can just act as a standalone HMI as well. Now, Ignition Edge IIoT and Edge Panel both come with all the different functionalities that we talked about that were in the other modules, the helper modules. And so with that, we bring in what was Edge Compute before. And that brings up another architecture that's interesting, which is I don't just need to, to be worried about my local data collection. I don't need to just be uh, worried about my local visualization, but I also have some logic that I need to execute. And if I lose a connection to my central server, I still need to make sure that that logic executes. And Edge Compute uh, provided Python scripting you know, at the edge. And uh, so now that is included with both Edge IIoT and Edge Panel. And so you could picture I've got an irrigation system and I need to make sure that my irrigation always runs, but my connectivity out into the field is inconsistent. And so now essentially maybe I still manage what those are, but then I push down my schedules to the edge and then they can run there locally um, or whatever other logic you might want to think of. So I'll tag change scripts. You know, it could also be used if you, you know, had because you might you might say like, well, I would just put that logic in the PLC, but sometimes uh, you know people have multiple different brands of PLCs and they need something that's you know coordinating across those different kinds of PLCs, or they just like the logic that they can define inside Python rather than writing it uh, in ladder logic or something like that. And so, you know, this edge compute option now being included by default into all the edge offerings really makes that an easy experience. Now, does that mean I'm advocating that you move all of your logic out of the PLC into Ignition Edge? No, you know, obviously it makes sense to keep uh, most of your logic in the PLC, but this gives you a great option for when uh, you need something above and beyond that. Both Edge IIoT and Edge Panel also come with the Enterprise Administration Module now, or EAM, um, and that allows you to automate management for multiple Edge sites from a central ignition system. And so with EAM, you can define your central ignition gateway as the EAM controller and all of your edge devices or gateways as EAM agents. And those with support licenses um, get all this added for free. Um, so you don't have to pay for this in addition, even if you already have edge today. And this allows you to remotely monitor the health of your ignition edge servers, push out project updates um, and more. 
And so, you know, I think that this is a, a huge value add to people who just even have standalone panels or have all these data collectors out there. Every time you need to go upgrade those, instead of having to go log in each one individually, you just log in the central gateway and uh, create a task and push it out and you're done, right? Or if you need to onboard a new device, it automatically takes the backups. You just go plug in the new device, connect to the central ignition gateway, and it can just go restore the backup, your backup and running. So super valuable to have this enterprise administration module.